Hi, I'm Val with Hammer in Hand here to discuss more of the details of the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House. As we discussed in a previous video, we, we discussed the air barrier and how the air barrier continues through the whole house and basically wraps the house in an airtight seal. So as, as previous, the air barrier connection below from the foundation waterproofing to our structural sheathing and it follows the structural sheathing vertically up the wall. And as we get to the top of the wall, we have to make that transition from the outside of our structural wall to the underside of our vaulted truss. The reason we're going to the underside of the truss and not going over the top of the truss is because it's a, it's a fairly standard vented truss assembly. So the air barrier needs to go between the truss and the top plate of the wall. And in, in order to do this, we have to make sure that it's a very durable and that it, it will, it'll be fail proof as we walk on it, nail trusses down and everything else that has to be done up there. So what we've done is we've capped our wall with the same OSB that we're using on our, for our structural sheathing. And our cap actually sticks beyond the interior of the wall framing so that at, when we frame down our truss we have something to catch with our air sealing. And we can go inside and take a look at that. Now that we're on the interior of the building we can look up and see our air barrier member protruding about three quarters beyond the interior framing. And now what you can picture is the vaulted truss, the underside of the vaulted truss will also be sheathed and that will be able, because it's protruding, we'll be able to get a good air seal there. The bottom of our, or the top of our air barrier will also support 24 inches of cellulose that will be blown in there. And then below that, it'll just be finished normally. Another detail that we've done here is using a Simpson SDWC screw instead of a normal Simpson H2.5 clip. That way, our penetration through the air barrier to get our hold down values on our trusses is just done with one screw instead of a clip that we'd have to air seal around. This should help us considerably in saving time.